Hello! In this video I will go over how to quickly and easily get Windows 11 up and running in ESXi host client without a vSphere server. If you don't already have an ISO file for Windows 11, you can either click the link in the video description or open a new tab and simply search for Windows 11 ISO. Click the fitting Microsoft link and scroll down until you see Windows 11 disk image. In the drop down menu select Windows 11 and click download. Now in the next drop down menu select your desired language for Windows 11. Click confirmed followed by the 64 bit download button and save the file to a fitting place. Next up is getting an ISO from GitHub which contains a simple batch script. Click the other link in the video description or search for a TPM Windows 11 hack GitHub. The repository belongs to a guy named Francesco. You can look over the three commands it will run if you open up the file named tpmpwn.bot. When you are happy, click the link under release to the right. It's the ISO file you need, so click that and save it to your PC. To upload the ISO file, head back to ESXi and navigate to Datastore. Click Datastore Browser. If you do not already have a folder for ISO files, you can create one by clicking Create Directory. To import ISO files, click Upload, navigate to where your ISO files are stored, and upload them. The larger the ISO file is, the more time it will take. Once both files are either uploaded or have started uploading, you can start creating the virtual machine. Navigate to Virtual Machines, then click Create slash Register VM. With Create New Virtual Machine selected, click Next. Give your VM a name. Compatibility can stay as ESXi 8 Virtual Machine. For Guest OS Family, select Windows and Guest OS version to Windows 11. You can also enable Windows based security. Click Next, select the drive you wish to store the VM to, then click Next again. In the Settings menu, give your VM a reasonable amount of CPU cores, memory, and hard drive space. Expand the settings for hard drive. Here, you can select Thin Provision. With that setting, only the space the VM is using is allocated to it. This is useful when you don't have too much storage. To add two ISO files, click Add another device, followed by CD slash DVD drive. To add both ISO files, scroll down and add the Windows 11 ISO to drive 1 and the TPM ISO to the new drive. If you go to the top, you can click the VM Options tab, where there's a few more extra changes that can be done. When you're happy, click Next, followed by Finish. The new VM should show up in the Virtual Machine list. Click the little window to start the VM and open a console window to it. Press a key to start the installation. Select your language, time and keyboard settings. Then click the install button to set your localization. When that's done, Hold down Shift and press F10 to open a terminal window in the VM. Then to list all the connected drives, type WMIC Logical Disk Get Name. To switch to another drive, type the letter of it, followed by colon. Then you can list the contents of it with the command DIR. On the correct drive you should see the tpmpwn.bot file. To run it, simply type the name of it and press enter. When done, type exit or cross out the terminal window to close it. You should now be able to install Windows 11 just like you would on any other machine. Enter a license key or click I don't have a product key to skip it. Select the Windows version you wish to install. Check the box next to the license terms. Click Customized Install Mark the drive you wish to install it to, and click New. 
partition it how you like and click apply. Then OK. When you're happy, click next and let Windows do its thing during the installation. For the setup, start by selecting your keyboard layout. If you have your VM connected to a network, it will now update and restart. Give your VM a name, then it will restart again. Now for the user. You can log in with your user if you have one. But if you don't want to use an online user, you can just enter the email one at onecom and type a random password. This will give you an error, followed by letting you create a local user. Create a username, then a password. Because it's an offline user, you will have to set up the security questions. Then, there's a few final settings. Opt in or opt out of things that you wish to. Then, when done, Windows will do some final configurations before the VM is ready to be used. I hope this video was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.